Before I get started with this uh, story, I have to give a shout out to True Royal Family because she sent this to me in the form of an email. And this is actually very amazing. And it's actually kind of poetic at the same time. Um, so, of course, you know who that is on the right. That is Lakeith Stanfield. And despite the fact that I hated his character in Judas and the Black Messiah because of that William O'Neill he had to portray, I can't deny the fact that he actually did a good job portraying that role, despite the fact that that character is trash. And so was the person himself. But now he has now moved on to voiceover work because he's headed to Netflix. And now he is about to be playing a historical figure by the name of Yasuki, who was known as the first African uh, samurai warrior. Now, what's interesting about this is the fact that Chadwick Boseman was actually supposed to portray this character in a real live action film. But unfortunately, with his tragic passing, that unfortunately is not going to occur. So now Lakeith Stanfield is stepping in and he's going to be portraying this character through a voiceover. And I think it's interesting because the show, I believe it's going to be a, it's going to be a show, is shot in anime style. So this is going to be even more interesting. I can honestly say I'm not the biggest fan of anime, but this show I will actually most likely look in, you know, too. So... With that being said, let me go ahead and get into this article. Netflix will introduce the world to a fresh new science fantasy anime series titled Yasuki on, Jan on, sorry, on April 29th as reported by Collider. The streamer promises to deliver six episodes of samurai swordplay, occult encounters, and even giant robots, all while telling a narrative inspired by a real, war real world historical figure, Yasuki, who was one of the first African slaves with a presence in Japan's imperial court, Collider reports. Yasuki is allegedly set in the alter alternate version of feudal Japan, where mecha and magicians intermingle. Samurai warrior Yasuki, the greatest ronin ever never known, returns to his life of sword fighting and violence in order to protect a mysterious girl from the dark forces and bloodthirsty warlords via Collider. The series takes major creative liberties with the ancient personage who inspired its titular, titular role voiced by Lakeith Stanfield who's portrayal in Atlanta Judas and the Black Messiah. The real Yasuki who lived in the 16th century allegedly never fought outside of his time in the Daimyo I probably mispronounced that Oda Nobunaga Nubana, Nubana, Imperial Militia meaning he could not be described as a ronin and he is typically referred to as a page or bodyguard in Nobunaga's courtly employ according to CNN. The series is created and directed by LaShawn Thomas, who worked on Black Dynamite and The Boondocks, who previously held similar duties on Netflix fantasy adventure anime Cannon Busters, which was based on his own limited run comic book series of the same name. Thomas is joined by the executive producer side of things by Stephen Ellison, a.k.a. Flying Lotus, who pulls double duty as the series in-house composer, according to Collider. The Los Angeles-based experiment experimental hip-hop producer is no stranger to the world of Japanese animation. He has a working relationship with the living legend of the medium cowboy Bebop. The two ha uh, and he has collaborated on multiple occasions starting in 2017 with Watanabe's short form Blade Runner 2049 and prequel film Blade Runner Blackout 2022. The short is reportedly being spun off into an adult swim series titled blade runner black lotus as reported by deadline you can check out the flying lotus first brush with the war okay i'll skip that part flying lotus has an additional connection to the story of yasuki the concept of a black ronin wandering through a technology enhanced version of ancient japan likely sounds familiar to anime enthusiasts who are aware of the afro samurai miniseries which was allegedly inspired by yasuki's legacy as reported by cnn the original score for the miniseries and its 2009 sequel film Afro Samurai Resurrection was composed by Wu-Tang Clan member RZA, who did Kill Bill, Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai, who toured Europe with Flying Lotus in the late 2000s, according to the XLR, or 8R, to Kate Takeshi Koiki, and I'm probably mispronouncing some of these names, who worked as an animator on the Afro Samurai pilot and designed the opening title sequence for Watanabe Samurai Champloo series is even credited as yusuki's character design the first six episodes of yusuki arrive on netflix on april 29th y'all gotta forgive me if i mispronounced a lot of those names they were you know those are like japanese names so forgive me if i 
did not get them correct. It is what it is. But I think this is dope, though. I will definitely tune in to check this out because I was going to check the movie out that uh, Chadwick Boseman was supposed to do when they uh, actually were going to do it. And a lot of people didn't know that, but he was actually supposed to be, fil- I think, filming for that part. But I think, you know, with his health declining, it didn't work because we would see pictures of him walking around. And he had like this, um, like this cover over him or something like that. I was like, oh, I know he's supposed to be filming this Yasuki movie. But you would think that him playing a samurai, he wouldn't be skinny like that because, you know, he's supposed to be playing a samurai warrior. But then, you know, that turned out to be something else that was beyond his and our control. And we found that out last August. But I hope that Lakeith Stanfield, you know, I'm not going to say I hope he does a good job because I know he's going to kill it. But I'm just curious, you know, how this is going to go. I will definitely look at it because it sounds interesting. I want. Like I, like I said, I've always liked to learn pieces of our history that we don't, that doesn't get talked about. And this is one of them right here that does not get talked about enough. So I will definitely be watching this. I hope that you will be as well. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you have not done so already. Make sure that you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And I will talk to you in the next one.